Hey guys, Ali here and today I'm just going to show you guys how to jailbreak or actually sideload apps onto a Windows Phone 8 device. Uh, I already did a previous video showing how to do it on a Windows Phone 7 device but here's Windows Phone 8 and I'll be using a Windows 8 PC for the program. Now, basically what you want to do is, of course, you're going to need a developer's account, which um, I'll post a, link, a detailed link in the descriptions how to get one. It's through a bright spark. You can get it for free if you're a student. Other than that, tough luck because it's really difficult to get one. So this is actually the only legal way to do it and also the only other way. So basically, you're going to need a Windows Phone 8 device. Okay. Uh, you can also, this technique usually works for Windows Phone 7 as well, a USB cable. And you need to have a micro SIM inside your phone device so it has to have a sim inside it and you're going to have to have downloaded the windows phone sdk or application tools from the windows phone dev uh, the website is dev dev dot windows phone dot com it's up there and what you want to do is just hit get sdk and it'll download the sdk for free and once you have your developers account you can sign in and get on with the process so anyways after you've done that you're going to of course, connect your phone to your computer with the uh, USB cable. If you're running Windows 7 then you're, and a, with a Windows Phone 7 device, sorry, you're going to need Zoom installed. But anyways, the steps are the same. Uh, you're going to go to your Start menu, and you're going to just search for Registration. The app is called the Windows Phone Developer, right there, Windows Phone Developer Registration Tool. So click on that, and you'll get this app right here, Developer Phone Registration. As you can see, it says status. Uh, you'll probably get this error sometimes, depending whether or not you'll get it. You know, have status unable to connect to a phone for Windows Phone 7 devices. Make sure Zune software is running and Zune recognizes it. For Windows Phone 8, make sure that the phone Windows Phone IP over USB transport is running. Transport is running. So if that service is not running, the Windows Phone 8, uh, so if you're running a Windows Phone 8 device with Windows Phone 8, you might get this error. It's the IP over USB sync. So what you're going to want to do is also go back to your start menu and just type in, sorry, local services so it'll, you'll find it under settings sorry right there you'll find it under settings you have view local services right there so once you view local services you'll get this little page here so scroll down all the way until you find something called windows phone over ip windows phone here you go as you can see right there, Windows Phone over IP USB transport. And what you're going to do is just right click on it and hit start. And if it's already started, just hit restart. So once that's started, it's running. And if you go back to your Windows Phone developer thing, hit retry down here on the lower right corner. Status trying to connect. Please unlock the phone. So the other step that you have to do is you must make sure that the screen of the phone itself is unlocked. So Swipe that up, the phone is now screen unlocked. Retry it once more. Identify the Windows Phone 8 device, click register button to unlock the phone. So if I hit register, sorry about the screen flickering from the camera guys, it's going to ask me to sign in. So I'm going to sign in and we'll get back to this in one second. I just signed in on, I put in my uh, Windows Phone account and password and now it says congratulations you have successfully unlocked your Windows Phone and what that basically means is now I can sideload apps onto my Windows Phone 8 device legally and for free through this technique um, as I mentioned I'm using my BrightSpark student account so and to sideload apps you will have to run the application deployment tool as you can see right there then to focus you have application deployment once I run that you're going to have the same thing. You're going to have target is either device or, and you're going to have to select the XAP file, which is the file used for Windows Phone app format. So you're going to want, instead of, you have all these emulator options. No, you're going to stick with device. And you browse for an XAP you should have downloaded. I don't actually have any right now. So forget that. And you're going to hit deploy, and it will install on your device. But of course, once again, you have to make sure that the device screen is unlocked or else it won't work, you'll get an error. So make sure the device screen is unlocked, hit deploy, and you'll find it installed in your app menu. Um, as mentioned, this is for deploying on Windows Phone 8 from Windows 8. The steps are basically the same from Windows 7 devices, except you might not have to do the Windows Phone over IP thing. 
for Windows Phone 7 devices. There's another video up there. I will post a link in the video itself to see it. And it's basically the same steps, same exact thing. So really simple, guys. Don't worry about it. The most difficult part is getting the DreamSpark account, which is a bit difficult. But hopefully, if you're a student, you shouldn't have any troubles. Thanks for watching. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, and let me know if you guys need anything else. Thanks.